In this problem, we are going to apply what we know about transversals um, to learn something about the angles inside triangles. So they're telling us L, line L, and line K are parallel. And you can see L and K are cut by this line N and this line M. So we've got a couple of transversals here. They're also telling us that angle 5 here is 39 degrees, and angle 1 at the top of the triangle here is 108. So let's see if we can walk through these questions here. It says, we see that angle 5 and angle 2 are something. Well, let's look at the figure here. Angle 5 and angle 2. If we look at this as a transversal with line N cutting L and K, 5 and 2 would be what we call alternate interior angles. So this one and this one, they're on the opposite sides of the line. They're on the inside of the parallel lines. Those are alternate interior angles. And if those two lines are parallel, and we're told they are, that means that they're congruent, angles 5 and 2, because alternate interior angles have the same measure. Those, those angles are congruent. So that means angle 2 has to be 39 degrees. All right. Then it says, by the angle addition property, the measure of angle 4 plus the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 5 has to equal what? Well, 4 and 1 and 5 are all along this line. So those have to add up to 180 degrees. I guess you'd call that a linear triple instead of a linear pair because there are three angles here. But it's still along a straight line, so it's got to add up to 180. Then it says, we are given that 5 is 39 degrees. And the measure of angle 1 is 108. So the measure of angle 4 is what? Well, we could subtract 108 and 39 from 180. I think you get 33 there. And then it says we see that three and angles 3 and angle 4 are what? Well, 3 and 4 are another pair of alternate interior angles, just using line M as the uh, transversal. So alternate interior angles. And therefore, 3 and 4 are congruent. So the measure of angle 3 has to be 33 degrees, congruent to 4 here. So this is 33. And it says, therefore, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3, those are all the measures inside this triangle. Well, they add up to 180. We can just add them. 33 plus 39 plus 108 is 180. We probably knew that already, though. We know that the angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So the last part here says the relationship between angles 1, 2, and 3, those are the ones inside the triangle, is an example of the following rule. The sum of the interior angle measures of a triangle is 180 degrees. So maybe you knew that already. You've heard that before. You've come across it. But what this does is it offers a kind of proof for, for why that's the case. So that's a little bit of work uh, in which we establish some facts about the interior angles of a triangle.